Let's look over here at this function y is equal to inverse sine or arc sine 2x. Let's find the derivative using two ways. What are we looking for? dy or dx. That is the derivative. If you use the chain rule, u is equal to 2x and your function with regards to that u is going to be arc sine u. Now you need to know the template for arc sine u. Derivative du arc sine u and then du or dx 2x. This right here is the preferred approach if you know the derivative template for that. The derivative template for that will be 1 over square root of 1 minus u square and the derivative of 2x will be a 2. Combine these, you'll have a 2 over square root of 1 minus u square. What was u? It was 2x squared 4x squared. This right here is your end result. This is the preferred direct approach. But again, you need to know the derivative template for that. It looks like this. However, if you don't know the derivative template, work backwards. Push this on the other side. I'm looking here at a sine of y is equal to 2x. Now take this entire expression do the derivative of this. Sine y will bring out a cosine y with respect to a dy or dx, which is what you'll solve for. Derivative of 2x is a 2. Push the dy or dx. Keep the dy or dx here. Push the cosine y on the other side. dy or dx is equal to what? 2 divided by cosine of y. What was y equal to? Your original expression you see right over here. Bring it in. I have a 2 over cosine of what? arc sine 2x. Here we're evading the need for having to know the derivative of arc sine. We're bringing everything here based on basic trigonometric functions. You're looking here at something which is like cosine of a certain angle. That angle with respect to that generate a right triangle. Obviously this is taking me more work. Sine of 2x over 1. I have a 2x 1. This right will be 1 minus 4x squared. Now I can easily determine cosine of the angle theta by means of this triangle. Cosine of that theta is adjacent or hypotenuse, which is just this. I now know my derivative y prime or dy or dx is equal to 2 over cosine theta, but I know cosine theta is this, 1 minus 4x squared in a root, and here is your answer. Done another way, and here through the direct way, 2 over root of 1 minus 4x squared. This right here is a preferred approach. This requires a little more work, but you still arrive at the correct answer.